Today's video, we're taking a look at an all new product from Panda RC. Now, this is a video transmitter meant for the 25.5 mounting hole solutions, such as the Crazy B boards and also some toothpicks. Now, what we will be covering today is the overall specs and also help you understand how you'd connect this because it can be slightly confusing. So, with that being said, let's get started. So lately we've been seeing an influx of these video transmitters, for example from Rush FPV, also from different brands like Nameless, uh, as well as even Flywheel. Flywheel has by far one of the most innovative one I've seen yet. Uh, two favorites currently are the Rush FPV and as well as the Flywheel. Now let's get into the specs here. So this is a 40 channel video transmitter. So for power outputs, we have pit mode 0, 25, 50, 100, 200, and 400 milliwatts. Now the input voltage is where it gets interesting. Usually these take five volts. However, this will actually take only battery voltage. And if you do look at the documentation, you might see the five volt and automatically think that it's a five volt input. However, it is not a five volt input. It is a five volt output for a camera if you need it. So this does have a five volt regulator on board. Its overall weight without the antenna is 2.8 grams. Now, some of the things provided are a pigtail antenna here and also some nice silicone wires, which will be needed. So if we take a closer look at the soldering pads here, what we see is we see video ground plus five volts, RX ground and V in. Now, if you didn't read the instruction manual, common sense, even to myself, would immediately put the five volt here, ground here and video here. However, you do have a high probability of possibly ruining this board because this board needs a 6 to 26 volt input so if you wanted to power this guy you're gonna have to run your red wire right here straight from the battery rails like just battery power basically so the red wire would go here from your battery the next one would be ground which is the black wire then we have rx so this thing does have smart audio so this would go into a tx pad on your flight controller so keep that in mind so you'll be able to control this and change the channel as well as the output power next we have a 5 volt output so if you wanted to power something else off of 5 volts, you can do that from here. You also have another ground and you also have your video, which this will be coming in from your flight controller and or camera. So keep that in mind. Now, the reason they've done these three next to each other, just in case you didn't have a flight controller with on-screen display and you wanted to do a direct connection to the camera. So you'd set that up right here. You'd say the yellow wire to your camera, the black wire and then the red wire here, and that would connect your camera. However, if you're using a flight controller, you're gonna take the video uh, wire from the flight controller so you can get the OSD information down to your goggles through the video transmitter here. Now it is using an IPEX port right here for the antenna type. And we also do have one button in case you didn't wanna set up smart audio or for some reason it didn't work. Now, if we take a closer look here, we see we have one, two, three, four, and five LEDs. Uh, they're really tiny but what you need to take into consideration is the one on the far most right here is going to be the output power here and then the next one over is going to be the band whether you're on a b c d or f and then the other three will correspond to the correct channel you're on now the mounting holes here are m2 so keep that in mind these are not m3 so if you had a frame that's doing m3 setup you're not gonna be able to stick these in there so keep that in mind and just be aware of that it has its own special unique setup or features maybe because for example this only takes five volts maybe you needed something that takes battery voltage and you'll be able to do that especially if you're doing some something like a, a 6s or 5s toothpick you'll be able to power this guy really nicely. And well, everything's linked down below, guys. Please go ahead and check those out. Those great support the channel. Come join my Patreon where I give all this stuff out for free. And obviously, new Patreons have their own separate giveaway. Every dollar you put in, you get your name in the hat. And a lot of people are winning. Go check my Patreon. You can see what people won last month. And I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.